Okay, so, all right, so in this lecture, I'd like to go over or do an overview of nonlinear structural analysis, okay? So, uh, linear elastic analysis is sufficient for assessing structural performance under service and operational loads, okay? But under extreme loads like earthquake, blast, or tsunami, it's expected that structural experience permanent deformation and, and in some cases will collapse. Okay, so simulating the structural response to these extreme loads, which is generally nonlinear, is the objective of CE 537. Okay, so there's three types of nonlinearity. Okay, one is material nonlinearity, where the post yield behavior of structural materials like strain hardening and permanent deformation of steel or crushing of concrete. Okay, that gives us nonlinear material effects. All right. Second is geometric nonlinearity, where due to the applied loads moving through moderate to large deformations and displacements, members can buckle uh, as the structure approaches collapse. And then three is contact nonlinearity, okay, where uh, components initially not in contact with each other come into contact during extreme loads. All right. For example, bridge decks contacting abutment walls or building to building pounding during an earthquake. Okay, so in this course, we'll just focus on the first two types of nonlinearity, the material and geometric. Okay, and generally we can account for material and geometric nonlinearity separately, which gives rise to the four analysis approaches shown in this table down here, where we have geometrically linear and geometrically nonlinear and then material linear and material nonlinear. Okay, so when we have material and geometric linearity, all right, you did this in a previous course, uh, such as CE 536 or similar, you know, matrix methods of uh, linear structural analysis. Okay, and in this course, CE 537, all right, we'll deal with uh, material nonlinear and geometrically linear. And then we'll deal with a little bit of a geometrically nonlinear, and then both material and geometric nonlinearity. Okay, so you know most engineered structures fall into this these last this last row here, where we have material nonlinearity, and then either geometrically linear or geometrically nonlinear. Okay, it's this this case here is pretty rare to have. Uh, material linear and geometrically nonlinear. Okay, you know, for for engineered structures, right? Okay, so uh, that's it. And in the next video, uh, we'll talk about this uh, steel frame example. All right, in section one point two. Okay, so thank you.